Hey guys, this is Tricker. This is my first tutorial I've ever done. And what we're going to do today is Mark 82 bombing in the F5. I just want to first say that I'm not an F5 pilot. But this is what works for me. I have read the manual. And they suggest a 20 and 30 degree dive angle for bombing. But for me, I find that the 10 degree dive angle with a reticle depression of 50 works out best for me. And what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate that. Right now I'm just lining up, uh, showing you the Echo Bay right now. The ground targets are down there. They're soft targets, just a bunch of Jeeps. Which the Mark 82s should uh, blow to smithereens. So right now we're going to put the manual mode for the Pipper. And I'm adjusting the depression reticle right now. As you see, it goes up and down. What I suggest is 50 degrees for a 10 degree dive. And that's what I usually do. So right now we're arming the stations. For bomb's arm, we're gonna put it on nose and tail. The interval, I'm gonna use 0.14. The other options are 0.06 and 0.10. But I like 0.14 for a bigger spread. We're going to put the external store switch on Ripple, since we're going to Ripple these Mark 82s on our targets. So right now I'm turning inbound, going over and make sure all my settings are correct. I got 50 depression. Got manual mode. Bombs are armed. External stores is on Ripple. So right now I'm in a 10 degree dive, and what I suggest is uh, 10 degrees between 400 and 450 knots. And right now we're going to aim for, uh, let's aim for these targets right there. So I'm below 450 knots and about 1,000 feet above the ground we're going to ripple. So there's our pickle. Off to the south, and we got a shack on several air tar or, uh, ground targets there. So this was just basically a overview of what I like to do and it's the 10 degree dive angle which I think is also easier so now we're gonna go over the 20 degree dive angle which is uh, in the book they suggest you starting at 5,000 feet above the ground targets dive initiation speed of 350 knots which we're at release altitude 1500 feet above the ground so we're going to release around 3,000 feet, starting our dive now. And the release speed is going to be being 380 knots and 400 knots, with a reticle depression of 80, which we have set. So there's 3,000 pickle, and we are below 400 knots, and we're off to the north with a good shack on our targets. Now the book also suggests that you should do a 30 degree dive angle, but I just don't think that's practical. In my opinion, the only reason I would do that is if there's AAA threat. So here's a real-world application uh, when I was on Blue Flag the other day. I have seven Mark 82s, and I'm just turning inbound on my target right now. And I'm going to use my method of the 10-degree dive angle. So I have everything set up with the depression reticle at 50, manual mode, bombs are on nose and tail, and a .14 interval. And right now I'm just lining up uh, with my targets, which are at my 12 o'clock. All AAA threats are down at this far. Coming inbound right now, 10 degrees on the dive, roughly 10 degrees, and below 450 knots, about 1,000 feet. I'm going to go ahead and pickle right here. And I'm off to the west with some good uh, shacks on that target. So this was just a brief tutorial on uh, dive angles with the Mark 82s, you know, my method with the 10 degree and also the 20 degree that's in the book. We didn't go over the 30 degree, but that's also in the book. I'll link the book in the uh, description. And if you have any feedback, please let me know. Like I said, this is my first tutorial. I haven't done this before. And if you've seen something that I did wrong, you know, please point that out. The only way to get better is to, uh, you know, critique each other. So uh, fly safe. Thanks.